Hi gang, I'm my radar meteorologist Matt Capucci. If you've ever watched a TV weather forecast, you've heard terms like warm front or cold front or high or low pressure. The meaning behind a cold front is simple. It's the leading edge of a cold air mass sweeping into a region. But how strong can cold fronts get? By the way, if you're joining us on YouTube, be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. We have tons of great science explainers, and I dare say ours are the best in the business. Most areas in the lower 48 see cold fronts on a weekly basis or more. Because they kick up warmer or more moist air ahead of them, that usually induces precipitation. Rain or snow can accompany the passage of a cold front, as can strong thunderstorms and severe weather, especially during the spring months. Cold fronts usually trail from low pressure systems and they swing to the east. That unleashes a rush of cold air with origins as far away as northern Canada. We can also have backdoor cold fronts in the northeast during the springtime, which knock temperatures back at the coastline. It's like a glorified sea breeze. That can bring chilly air and fog to cities like Boston and Portland, Maine, particularly during the month of May. We don't have to worry too much about these westward moving cold fronts today though for our purposes here. If we're looking for how strong a cold front can be, we can examine that in two different ways. We could look either at the temperature drop behind the front or how quickly that temperature falls along the front. Officially speaking, the biggest 12 hour temperature difference on record in the US occurred at Fairfield, Montana on December 14th, 1924. The temperature dropped from 63 degrees to minus 21 by midnight. Can you imagine? Montana also hosted the greatest 24-hour temperature rise in January of 1972, when Loma went from minus 54 to a mild 49 degrees by the afternoon. The picture you see here is from Jim Wood, a National Weather Service cooperative observer, whose instruments documented that crazy record turnaround. The strongest cold fronts often feature gusty winds that bring cold air infection, or the arrival of cold air as if on a conveyor belt. When that happens, you can get a temperature drop of 30 degrees or more. It doesn't happen instantaneously though, but it can be dramatic, especially inland away from the stabilizing effects of the ocean. Let's consider Denver. They've had times when they see triple digit heat and snow in the same week. That was the case in September of 2020. On the 7th, they hit 93 degrees. The next day, 31 degrees and an inch of snow. In mountainous terrain, it's easier to get big temperature fluctuations, especially when a passing low pressure system switches the wind direction. Air coming down the mountains warms and dries, allowing toasty temperatures. But if the wind suddenly reverses, air is forced uphill and it cools and approaches saturation. That can squeeze out precipitation too. Consider January 5th, 2015. Denver went from a morning low of minus five to an afternoon high of 56. That's a 61 degree temperature spike. That's from a warm Chinook wind, but we also get similar effects in reverse. October 9th, 2019, for example, they saw an afternoon high of 83, then it was snowing eight hours later with an evening low of 28. We're talking flip-flops and snow boots in the same afternoon. If we consider Boulder, just northwest of Denver, we can think back to September 11th, 1974. The city hit 91 degrees a day before 2.7 inches of snow fell. In Texas, we call sharp cold fronts like this a blue norther. Sometimes they get hung up in the Texas panhandle and wobble back and forth. That was the case in January of 1982. On January 17th, Amarillo started at 10 degrees, climbed to 72 in the afternoon, hit 71 the next day, then crashed down to 21. It's unclear if there was a blue norther present or if the air was just very dry, allowing for those big diurnal or daily temperature swings. One of the most prolific nationwide blue northers on record was that of November 11th, 1911. The drop was so extreme that Rock County, Wisconsin went from a violent, deadly F4 tornado that killed nine people to a blizzard within one hour's time. Many cities tallied record highs and record lows in the same day, jumping into the 70s or 80s during the afternoon and plummeting into the teens or 20s behind the front. Kansas City went from 76 degrees to 11 degrees just 14 hours later, and Springfield, Missouri fell from 80 degrees to 40 in just 15 minutes time. According to the National Weather Service's monthly weather review, some people died in Chicago from heat stroke and hypothermia separately within a 24 hour window. That's just crazy. No place takes the cake though like the Black Hills of South Dakota, however. Sometimes you can get a cold front to stall in the rugged terrain, becoming an incredibly strong and sharp stationary front. On January 22nd, 1943, a stationary front in the Black Hills caused opposite and extreme air masses to slosh back and forth all day like soup in a bowl. Here's a weather map from that day. You can see the cold front right there. In the morning, the cold front was parked over the Black Hills. It then retreated around lunchtime before crashing south and east during the evening. 
In Spearfish, the temperature stood at minus 4 degrees at 7.32 a.m. Two minutes later, it jumped to 45 degrees above zero, a difference of 49 degrees. That's like warming four degrees every 10 seconds for two minutes. Then a few hours later, it went from a comfortable 54 degrees above zero to four below zero, a fall of 58 degrees in 27 minutes. Farther north, Rapid City swung from five degrees to 54 degrees during the morning, a 49 degree leap in 20 minutes. According to local reports, people can actually notice different air masses in their neighborhood just by rounding street corners. Their windshields are properly frosted over as people drove across the front from warm pockets to cold ones, and glass window panes cracked. Here's a look at the temperature traits from that day. Colder temperatures are plotted near the middle, with temperatures increasing radially outwards. And here we have a list of the top 10 wildest calendar day temperature swings at Spearfish, South Dakota. And check out Rapid City! 104 degree high and a 48 degree low on the same day back in September 5th, 2020. That brings us to how sharp cold fronts can be. In the Black Hills case, the temperature likely differed by 30 to 40 degrees or more over just the course of one mile distance. Now 15 to 20 degrees per mile isn't terribly unusual in New England along strong sea breezes or backdoor cold fronts. And 20 degrees in a mile is actually pretty typical of strong cold fronts over the plains. Sometimes you can also get similar crashes in temperature in the rear flank downdraft or that cold air wraparound of rotating supercell thunderstorms. There's a pinch of mild air that rushes into the storm right before the rain and hail cooled air arrives. Personally, I encountered an 18 degree temperature difference over the course of about 350 feet back on May 23rd, 2019 in Amarillo, Texas. There was an incredibly sharp stationary front nearby with storms just rolling along it. My windshield actually instantaneously got foggy as I crossed that boundary. It really was remarkable. On the contrary, I experienced a dramatic warm up as I exited the rain and hail filled rear flank downdraft into the warm inflow region of a supercell near Selden, Kansas on May 24, 2021. Notice that rain lifting as I encountered the donut hole of warmth surrounding the tornado. All told, cold fronts can be strong and sharp and very tough to forecast. When they stall, they can be a nightmare for meteorologists striving to predict precipitation types, especially in the winter time. One of these days, though, we'll have to talk about heat bursts. In the meantime, keep it tuned here on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here in the MyRadar app. I'm meteorologist Matthew Capucci for MyRadar. Follow MyRadar on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download MyRadar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.